I just love everything about this dragon. Just look at her. Look at her. She has leaves for wings. There is a little seed bud on her tail and on her head. I think that somehow the bitter dragon has become one of my all-time favorite dragons. I mean, she literally blows a little cloud of gorgeous autumn leaves and she produces food. Food! She's a farming dragon! This is my new favorite type of dragon. I love them. They have everything to do with the plants and they help to take care of all of the other dragons that are out there and even look at her little back scales. Basically guys, I am still completely in love and also completely swamped and buried under so much stuff that's happening. This month is definitely the month of harvest and abundance because the dragons are coming out in droves and in a weird way and let's see. Yay, thank you, thank you. Okay, she had 96 little food ready for us. Isn't that adorable? But in a weird way, I kind of feel like all of the overwhelming amounts of dragons and everything that we have going on kind of ties into the fact that, you know, October and November are the harvest months and you bring in like all of the food and you get ready to pull in the last harvest of the year in a lot of uh, traditional parts of the world. And that kind of makes sense because that's also the time of year you see a lot of birds migrating through the world. Like, you know, when the shifting seasons happen, you see a ton of migrations, especially as we exit the cold season in spring and enter the cold season down as we leave autumn going into winter. So it sort of feels like all of these dragon types are migrating through to me, but maybe I just really love, love thinking about the biology and ecology of my animals, pixel form or not. <laughs> I suppose that does make me the pixel biologist. But all right, so enough rambling about that. I am so in love, you guys. I love this little dragon and I was going to name her. I was going to name her, get this, Gordio. I was going to name her Gordio, like Romeo, but as a gourd. Uh, until I realized that Glanis is probably a female name, so I probably needed to come up with a different kind of name for our wonderful bitter dragon. And she is the enchanted bitter dragon, so unfortunately, I did kind of lose my opportunity to spend all of those gemstones on the normal bitter dragon. There's a life lesson for you guys. If you want to be able to unlock the rarity remedy, do not buy the enchanted variety by the normal variety, but I love her anyway. But uh, anyway, I, I love her. I love her very much. And instead of naming her Gordio because she's a she, we're going to name her Marigold. And I know that doesn't really have anything to do with her green color and the fact that she is all sparkly and shiny, but I just think the name Marigold fits her. And I can see her farming out in the treat fields to bring all of these treats back for the other dragons to eat or possibly just to eat herself. So let's go ahead and feed her up. I don't have much much food, but I want to see your next level. Marigold, you're so cute! Look at you! Look at her! She's got even more things down her back now! Okay, yeah, and the little, like, jack-o'-lantern face? Yeah, I'm kind of in love. The bitter dragons are amazing. Uh, and I actually want to try to raise her up to full size today, but we have some really exciting news, like the new dragons that are migrating through. So let's take a quick peek at those. Uh, the first of which is actually another treat dragon called the grain dragon that I think would be fantastic to try to get our hands on because it's another treat dragon. I want nothing but treat dragons. That's my goal. I want to have farming fields full of treat dragons. I eventually, this is our big goal here, guys. So stick with me on this. I want to clear out this entire area and turn it all into a farm where we can have just fields of treat dragons. Because think of how absolutely buried under food I could be if I had this entire place turned into treat dragon habitats and I was just raising nothing but treat dragons. And in order to do that, I need to try to get as many treat dragons in the time period that we have the bitter dragon and that we have the grain dragon available as possible. And even if I can't put them out right away because we're still upgrading our first and only treat habitat and I would need to build several others, we do have the hibernation cave and it's got plenty of room to hold many, many more dragons. So that's my big goal of right now for the migration of dragons that we have is to hatch 
as many of the treat dragons as possible. And thankfully, I think we're gonna pull that off. Ha <laughs> ha, check this out. My enchanted underbrush and my enchanted mist dragons have an egg that they are sitting on that is going to take one day, one hour. I think it may be a bitter dragon. If that's the case, we can unlock the rarity remedy, pop it into our cauldron, and bada bing, bada boom, I will be buried in treat dragons. It would be amazing. And then over here, our tropical, who is proving to give me the most eggs of all sorts of varieties out of all of the dragons I've ever had, and our enchanted thermal dragon i think these two are producing a grain dragon i think they did it I, this guy unlocked last night so i threw in some dragons before i went to bed and like rushed a few of the cheap eggs and this is the first big egg that those two have and i think it could be a grain dragon we might have a grain dragon right out of like the cave at the very beginning we can put its rarity remedy in there and we'll have a harvest of treat dragons which would be amazing so there's the plan and there's what I have been working on and why I'm so excited about this and we'll carry on after we do one last thing check out another limited time dragon the Basculus dragon which is now available it is an echo type dragon I have never seen it before I don't really know what to make of it I really kind of like it's enchanted well I like both the variants quite a bit it really reminds me of screenshots that I've seen from Subnautica I have not made it very far yet in Subnautica but it reminds me of screenshots I've seen of something in Subnautica so I'm kind of interested in it but you guys when I went to look and see what does it take to make this like basculus dragon appear. And I think it's a brand new dragon. So correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's like never, never been around before dragon. Yeah, look, it's added at the bottom. So I think it's a brand new type of dragon. Oh, you're actually, well, cute is a strong word, but you know what? I actually used to teach cave ecology uh, as a real life teacher. Holy cow, it's hard to get this guy. 3,500 gemstones. Are you kidding me? Uh, but the basilisk dragon needs the capria dragon. I was so blown away. Like what? It needs a zoo. Oh, wow, you're cute. I never saw you before. Okay, the Capria dragon is absolutely adorable, but you need a Capria, a Zodia dragon in order to breed for the Basculus. And I have never seen anything require a Zodia dragon before. So it makes breeding up those Zodia dragons even more important. So we will not be able to get the Basculus because I do not have the Capria uh, Zodia, but it did remind me how important it will be to get the uh, Labria dragon not only for the 13th Zodia dragon, but also for future dragons we might breed. <sighs> and by the way, in case that wasn't enough to make your head spin, we do have the weekend challenges going on, so I am going to try to complete those, including finishing the breeds and filling up my airship. So let's see if I can fill up some stuff. Beechwood, got it. Fantastic. And you want to fill up just one thing at a time on the weekends, like I mentioned, because then you might have a chance to get some of those points. And we're actually going to rush and finish those breeds to figure out if we do have the grain and if we do have the bitter dragon. Because if we do, I'm just breeding nothing but those guys for as long as they are with us. All right, we have two extra eggs. Oh, a little cute whirlpool dragon. And we have two enchanted eggs that I have not yet hatched. And I'm kind of debating we might hatch one of those today. I really wanted to hatch the mystery egg today, but we just have so much going on. And I like to try to give each type of dragon a little bit of attention. So let's come over here. We are going to painfully speed up with 26 gemstones, whatever the enchanted, hang on, I wanna look at this again. This is enchanted mist and enchanted underbrush. And let's go ahead and see. What were they breeding? I'm so disappointed right now! <laughs> That's a monsoon egg! Uh, our storm continues and we have a monsoon egg, but I guess that means it is kind of fun to just keep some of the extra dragons that we get, especially when they're very rare like that. So I'm going to say that, whoops, I need to stop collecting things until it tells me to uh, for the weekend challenges. But I guess that means that our tropical storms are extremely powerful. I really thought that was the bitter dragon. I am so glad I rushed that so that I wasn't disappointed in the future. All right, now this is tropical and enchanted thermal. 
What do we have? That looks like a grain dragon egg, most likely to me, if you ask me. Oh, look at this, and fill two gatherable crates, got it. So I think we may rush that grain dragon egg, if that's what it is. All right, one beech wood, two beech wood. There we go, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm doing these, these challenges and unlocking those crates, very, very useful and important, you guys. If you can do it, then definitely do. And now it wants me to fill two dragon crates. Are you guys already ready to go? Do you need very much food? Uh, they need a little bit of food there. What about my tusk dragon? Uh, they need about three levels between them. Well, I might harvest some of the food. Just sometimes harvesting food is also something that can give you points. So let's do this really quickly. Come along. All right. Our grotto dragon. Hello, my dear. I love the grotto dragon's little earrings that she has. Aren't they cute? Is that... Oh. Ouchies. Okay, I'm gonna need a lot more food. <laughs> uh, I might just have to do the harvest. Okay, we're just gonna do a quick harvest. That's okay, it's a day of harvest. Uh, so let's come over. We're gonna harvest this really quickly. I'm just trying very hard. Ooh, and we're getting closer to that level 40 upgrade. Very happy about that. All right, let's come over here, Grotto Dragon. I just really wanna make sure that I get... So there's our Grotto Dragon. She's out of here. Let's get the tusk dragon. And whoops, uh, cancel. There we go. Come here, buddy. See, this is why we need to have those fantastic, wonderful treat dragons because, ah, ah, oh my gosh, I'm only like, are you kidding me? I am so close. I am so close on the food. This this is why we need the tree dragons. Even just like 3,000 more pieces of food and we wouldn't have to spend any gemstones and we could raise our dragons and become very, very wealthy and happy. As it is, I actually have to like pay four gemstones to finish raising him to the next level so he can leave so we can get all of those points. There we go. All right, well, let's hurry. Let's go, go, go. And we're back to growing food, which I'm just going to go ahead and replace. Can I feed? Oh, all right. I'm going to go ahead and replace and I will finish up this on my own later because it's going to take me a little bit to get that off. But all right. So let's go ahead and plant new things down in the snackery really quickly. And there we go. Everybody gets Zazberries for now. Uh, and let me gather up all of the money. I guess I can, I'll do that on my own. Well, we're already halfway there. All right, so I was tricked once again by the monsoon dragon. That does mean I want to consider upgrading my storm habitat again. We kind of have enough money for it because I do have a lot of extra monsoon dragons now. So I might actually, like look at these guys. And you can only have three per storm habitat. So I think I might look into upgrading the storm habitat, that, like this one over here. And we will invest our money in that in just a second. Because that makes sense, actually. <laughs> Come here, Summer Storm. Uh, we'll have to really revamp how we've built this area, but we'll just imagine that the typhoons and the monsoons and everything that happened in this jungle keep it very humid and moist and just filled with storms and we can hold a lot more money if we do this so boom now we have another upgrade incoming because we have yet another monsoon dragon <laughs> on the way oh and speaking of upgrades we can clear out yes oh my gosh and we've gone up to level 40 apparently we have unlocked the grain and the basculus dragon but i promise you we've already done that and we can do some upgrades and one day in the near future we are definitely upgrading the air and rainbow habitats to be able to see what they look like uh nice and oh look at that i just got like five million of my coins back nice all right well that was cool what's the next level hold just more habitats that we can build. Oh, that's true. There might be a limit to the number of habitats we can have, which would kind of put a damper on a lot of my plans for my treat dragon farm, but we'll just have to, to carry on and see what happens. All right, let's gather up all these. Everybody's doing good. I was trying to wait until I could use all of these coins to earn, earn uh, weekend points, but that's okay. 
Especially the Zodia dragons will bring us back that money really quickly. Look at how rich we are all of a sudden. Jeez Louise. All right, well, enough of all of that dilly-dallying. Let's go ahead and come down here and we are going to rush this egg so we can see which one of the treat dragons it is because we're having a treat dragon harvest. And I'm pretty sure this egg looks kind of different to me. <gasps> a bitter dragon, Gordio. Gordio, welcome! I'm so happy to see you! Gordio! Oh, there you go, buddy. I, I really wanted you. And now we have a bitter dragon, you guys! We have not got the grain dragon, unfortunately. But we do have a bitter dragon, which means we can now go ahead. We have the rarity remedy unlocked. We're gonna get that thing brewed up right now. Come here. Where are you? Bitter dragon right here. All right, and we do have the hieroglyph dragon. Um, oh wait, I guess we do have, wait, why can't I brew it? Oh, I have to clear out my cauldron. Fine, it wants me to clean it first. Uh, but we do have the hieroglyph dragon. I'm kind, I mean, maybe I would do that. I gotta think about that. Hmm. I don't know. I'm pretty happy with what we have. And I think the treat dragons are more important because the treat dragons will actually give us food, which sounds really, really vital to me. All right, let's see. Available dragons. Not those guys. I need the epic rarity for the bitter dragon. There we go. I can't believe the monsoon dragon is like an epic rarity and we just get him all the time lately. All right, bitter dragon, here you come. There you go, little guy. Oh, this is fantastic. Boom, 20% chance for the next seven days. He's only here for a few more days anyway. <gasps> and there we go, you guys. We might have a 20% chance of breeding the bitter dragon. I'm gonna go ahead and have that done right down here. I don't think I wanna use an enchanted crystal at this point, and we're gonna see what happens. Three hours, that is, that is not, I'm glad I didn't use an enchanted crystal. That is not what I had in mind. Uh, so let's scooch that out. And then we'll go ahead and try again. So basically, I'm going to be farming bitter dragons for a while. Yes, there we go, 23, 23 hours. And hopefully that will be worth it. And hopefully in the future, we will be able to take all of those bitter dragons and make a little bitter dragon farm. I'm a little nervous if that means that I may have to remove some of my habitats, but we could possibly do that if it meant putting some of our dragons into the hibernation area. So I'm going to have to think about that for sure. Uh, but otherwise, let's try to get once more the lineup for the green dragon, which I'm pretty sure... Let's see, air, water, stone, and leaf. Let's make sure that that is correct for what we need for the green dragon. He's pretty darn cute, by the way. Uh, let's see, wait, come here, little green dragon. Let's look at your little information. Yeah, air, water, leaf, and stone. So that should work for him. All right, come here, little guy. Air, water, leaf, and stone, let's do this. Green dragon, nope. <laughs> All right, we'll have to continue to work on uh, waiting out these these eggs and mm, Next time well, I think I know what this you know what we're gonna hatch this enchanted egg because we know what it's going to be Oh Wow, oh wow. I wish I had given you your own episode to be hatched Holy cow the enchanted gossamer dragon is one of the most beautiful ones I've seen We will definitely give her some attention of her own in the future because Wow, she's beautiful. <laughs> okay, but that does give us room to go ahead. Speed up, boom, come over here, and grain dragon. Oh, well, we got something that's 16 hours. So all right, we're gonna have something to look at in just a second. And I will see you guys next time when hopefully we will be able to get Marigold even more companions and build up our treat farm because that sounds completely up my alley. I hope you guys are having luck with breeding everybody and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.